guys, it's Ryan from BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Netflix application on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, you will need to be jailbroken in order to use this uh, this tweak, um, but I will go through the steps and show you how to do that. Uh, and then once, once we're done with that, we'll jump over to the close-up camera and I'll show you how the Netflix application actually performs on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So first thing you want to do is you want to download the Netflix application from the iPhone App Store or the iPad App Store, excuse me. Once you get that, just go to your desktop, uh, search for Netflix. Once you do that, you will find the Netflix IPA. Uh, just drag that or make a copy of that uh, and then go ahead and paste that on your desktop, which I've already done right there. Once you're finished with that, just go ahead and change the IPA or the .IPA to .zip. It's going to ask you to use the zip file or keep the IPA. We're going to change it over to zip. Just double click on that that will then unzip it and put that on your desktop what you want to do now is go ahead and open up the application itself or the folder itself and then you're gonna to browse to the payload section once you're in the payload section uh, you will see a application um, that is the Netflix application that's actually what gets installed on your iPhone now what we want to do is we want to open up CyberDuck and that will allow us to SSH uh, into our iPhone uh, so I have my iPhone here let me go ahead and uh, get that set up so we want to go ahead and make a new connection I'll log in to my iPhone once you're logged into your iPhone, what you want to do is you want to navigate to private, then var, stash, and then finally applications. Now, once you're in there, what you want to do is you want to take this file and you want to grab it and just drag it into your SSH um, link with your iPhone. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, once it's loaded into your iPhone, what you want to do is you want to click on the folder that the application will then make, right click on it. What you want to do is you want to go to the info section. And then right here, um, you want to set it to 755 or you want to, I think you want to uh, make the permissions to 755. And what you want to do is as soon as you click these, read the first right and then the final, all three of the execute. Uh, go ahead and click uh, apply changes recursively and that will then give your phone or your iPod permission to run the application um, that's usually supposed to run that is supposed to run excuse me on your iPad so once you're done with that you're good to go so we can quit out of here and now what we'll do is uh, we'll just go over to the close-up camera and I'll show you what you need to do on the iPhone or iPod to go ahead and run the application Alright guys, now that we've installed the application Netflix to our iPhone, and here, that is the Netflix application installed on the iPhone, what you need to do in order to use the application is you will need to download a separate uh, browser for your iPhone um, or iPod Touch on the App Store. Uh, you can't use Safari uh, because when you're using Safari it will show uh, to the Netflix application and you, you are using an iPhone. So what you need to do is you need to download a separate browser. Uh, you can pick Perfect Browser or Atomic Browser. I actually have a uh, Perfect Browser on my iPhone and so let's go ahead and open it and we'll show you how the application uh, works with the Netflix application. So once you download the application what you will need to do is go down to settings and in the settings you will have the option of doing desktop rendering. So we'll click on that and now that actually gives us the option of selecting uh, Safari iPad so now when you browse any website it will think that it's browsing from an iPad so let's go ahead and select that and so now what we want to do is we want to go to the Netflix website and so here we go we are in the Netflix website and now what we want to do is, uh, if you have obviously if you have Netflix, you know that as soon as you log in, you have your watch instantly. And so what I'll do is I'll just click um, one of these uh, videos that are on here. 
and I won't play it I won't play it too long I don't want to have any type of uh, you know YouTube shutting down my video so we'll click play so here we go guys the application now should start playing uh, the movie There you go, the application does work. Um, sometimes it might not play the very first time that you try to uh, play the application uh, or play the movie, um, but just try it one more time and it usually will just begin on the second uh, the second go around. Um, it plays extremely well. I haven't noticed any type of lag or anything like that. However, if you do have an iPhone 3G or 3GS, uh, obviously you will have a lot better streaming as well as the applications opening you know, for you quicker. I only have an iPhone 3G, um, but it definitely does you know, work very well on it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It definitely can make your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch that much more um, you know, than without the application. Obviously this is just holding you over till uh, Netflix releases the application for uh, the iPhone or um, iPod. So once again guys, this has been Ryan with buymeaniphone.com. Keep coming back to the site for all your videos, news, and app reviews. Thanks, guys.